Hello and welcome once again. In this video I'm going to show you how I made this little mouse on top of a pumpkin. Now I've uh, uploaded a video of the pumpkin separately so I'll just put a link there to show you how the pumpkin is made but in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I made the little tiny mouse. So this is the pumpkin and you can see in the other video. So let's move on to the mouse and uh, if we got a skewer, my cat ta keeps taking it away so I just had the paintbrush at hand. I'm going to roll some wool over just to make a little head and I need a pointy mouth, the nose and the mouth of the mouse. So this is really helpful or a skewer is even better. So you just roll some wool and um, this is going to be the front. Just take it out, slide it off the skewer or the paintbrush and felt it down. So this is going to be the nose and mouth of the mouse. And you can keep building by adding more wool. To the head so I'm just neatening it up with my needle and I'm going to add more wool just to give it shape of the head but first I just wanted the, the pointy end to be felted and then I'm going to build on that I'm felting it down till it's firm enough and uh, one of my lovely viewers said that I should make videos in real time now that is going to take ages so I'm just going to show you the important bits in a slower speed and the rest of it is going to be faster on time lapse so I'm just firming up the nose of the mouse and um, then I'm going to see how big I want the head to be so I'm just firming it up because it's really loose and it's going to bend where the body is going to attach I'm going to build the body on top of it because uh, it's really tiny so I don't have to make a body separately so I'm just going to build it with the head but first I have to make it firm enough so you keep felting until you're satisfied and uh, when you've got the muzzle quite firm you can add more wool for the head so you see it's now you've got a pointy end and I'm just going to mark where the eyes are going to be so I know how big the head I need. So I build the shape slowly and gradually adding little wool at a time even though it's tiny I'm still adding very little wool in stages so I'm not going to start with a lot at once. Adding more to the head so I'm going around like a scarf on the head so you know how big I want it to be and you can see that the little nose is sticking out now it's going to get a little shape I use Heidi Feathers needles and I find them really good. I haven't broken any till now. I have broken a few but they were not from Heidi Feathers. They were from someone else. But the Heidi Feathers is really good. So 
So once I'm happy with the head, so now you see it looks more like a bird with a beak, but we're going to add the cheeks to it and a little mouth in the lower portion of the lips and then you'll see it taking more shape of the mouse. Right now it looks like a little bird. So I'm just firming it up. With my needle I'm marking the mouth, the lower part and uh, I have to see where the eyes are going to be because I had marked them before so roughly I have an idea I'm just felting down where I'm going to add more wool to make the shape of the body Now the nose seems to be quite long but once we add more to the sides of the face and the top you'll see that it looks better. So I've taken a really tiny bit of wool. We need a really tiny bit. I'm going to go on the sides and cover the part of the nose sticking out so it doesn't look like a bird anymore. I'm just felting it a bit down and going to attach it to the side. And I need three uh, portions of a wool just like I did this one. So got two sides and the forehead just like you make the rabbit but this is more of a pointy nose and in rabbits it's more uh, roundish because the noses are not like that of a mouse I love making rabbits I think that's the animal I enjoy the most I'm going to work on the hair soon. I've got a kit from World of Wool. I'm going to try that soon. So you see I'm covering the both sides. Adding cheeks. I'm covering a bit of the sticking part of the nose as well so get the whole shape more mouse-like. cheeks are done and I'm going to add more to the forehead it's melting some bit down I'm attaching it to the forehead now I'm going to start from the tip of the nose just going to firm it up and keep felting all around till I get the shape of the head right
attach the lower part of the mouth just below the nose and this will give more roundness to the pointy face which still looks like a bird I'm attaching it to the head just below the nose so now you can see it has a little mouth it's shaping it up still not that happy with the shape of the head so I'm going to add more wool next to the forehead starting from the nose so it doesn't look that pointy anymore like that of a bird to wrap some wool round and I'm going to belt it down to give the shape of the body so I'm not making it separately I'm just attaching more wool to the head because it's going to be really tiny I'm seeing it with my pumpkin how big I want it to be You just have to keep firming it up. It's kind of a round body. Not completely round, but oblong shape. I'm adding more wool till I'm happy with it. I'm using my multi-tool and it just speeds things up. It's really helpful. Now I need little tiny limbs. So I'm just rolling some wool. To make tiny arms. And I'm attaching merino eggshell color to the front of it. I'm using the same merino wool that's uh, the eggshell and I'm rolling it on the toothpick. You can see it's in real speed, real time. and. Uh, these are going to be the tiny feet so 
that makes you happy with the silence in this filter time. I'm not giving them too much detail. Because it's going to sit on top of the pumpkin. So just giving it round shape. And these are going to be the feet. As you can see it's really tiny and with merino wool you have to like really felt it down. It doesn't felt that easily as the slivers do, the carded wool does. So I'm just going over it and giving it shape. So these are going to go below the body. I need to make more. I'm attaching small eyes to it with glue and some more wool around the eyes. See that this, the eyelids. One more wool around the eyes. After I put in the eyes, I think I, it needs more cheeks, so I'm adding those. For the hands, I'm adding more white uh, merino top around the arms. and get the white color and it looks neater just around the arms and then I'm attaching them to the body and the tiny feet as well Just felting them down in place. Felting down the extra bits of wool. Now I'm adding the white the um, tops to the body as well. As I did with the arms. So I'm making a white mouse. You can add any color you want. And very tiny shred of pink for the nose somehow my camera didn't work and I've had 
to a tiny circle from a felted sheet. I did show it on camera but somehow it didn't record. So just cut out two circular shapes and I'm felting it down. So I just made the edge which I had to felt down a bit rough and then attached it. It was easier to attach. I'm using a little piece of yarn for the tail. And to cut it as long as I want. I'm just putting some glue on the tip so it doesn't unravel or unwind. Just giving it a trim. I'm using pestles to give it a little shade. It's not working this way. So I'm just going to powder some. Now it's working now. Just a little pink. And added some brown color to it. It's going around the nose and inside of the ears. It's really up to you. If you don't want to use it, it's okay. I'm just trying it out myself. I haven't been using pestles, but I saw many people who do. It does make a little difference. So the stem looks too short. I'm going to add more wool to the stem. Using carded wool for the stem, and uh, it felt really well. So, I'm going to make it firm and then place the mouse on top and see how it looks. Just making a little line to go with it. Again, I'm using carded wool and just twisting it, felting it down so it goes around. I'm just twisting. I'm going to felt it down so it has some curves. cut off the bits I don't need. Now I'm going to attach the mouse. I'm just felting the edges so it sits securely on the pumpkin. Here it is all done. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching and please subscribe for more.